Hi, everybody. It's me, Wicked Lady, or, or, you know, Dark Lady here, whatever you know me as. And today I'm going to do a review on WrestleMania. WrestleMania started out with the WrestleMania kickoff show, starting out with Austin Aries versus Adrian Neville for WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Really good match. I enjoyed it. I felt that Austin Aries and Adrian Neville worked very well together. And it was a really good match. Now, I know some people are going to complain. They're going to try to compare it to the old Cruiserweight matches from the past. You know, some are going to say that it's nothing special. And they're going to try to compare it to X Division matches and stuff. Well, anyway... Adrian Neville defeats Austin Aries and retains the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Next was the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, consisting of wrestlers from the Raw and SmackDown brand. There were a lot of eliminations. People you thought would be in it, you know, would be able to survive, like, you know, Braun Strowman or The Big Show or Mark Henry or Ethan Killing Dane, for example, were all eliminated. And the surprise was Mojo Riley wins the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, so I felt that was, I enjoyed that. Then it was Dean Ambrose versus Baron Corbin for a WWE Intercontinental Championship. And Dean Ambrose and Baron Corbin did a really good job. I enjoyed their match. You know, it was a really good match, and I liked it. Felt they worked very well together. Dean Ambrose defeats Baron Corbin and retains the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Then WrestleMania itself starts out with Shane McMahon versus AJ Styles. And this was a really good match. Shane McMahon and AJ Styles did a really good job in their match. You know, they worked very well together. And I really did like the fact that AJ Styles tried to do the coast to coast, but Shane McMahon reversed and did it to him. But at the end, AJ Styles defeats Shane McMahon. Then it was Chris Jericho versus Kevin Owens for the WWE United States Championship. Really good match. Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens worked very well together. I like this match. Now, some people are going to complain for whatever reason, but I felt this was a really good match, and I liked it. Kevin Owens defeats Chris Jericho and becomes the new WWE United States Champion. Then it was Bailey versus... Shasta Banks versus Charlotte Flair versus Nia Jack for the WWE Raw Women's Heavyweight Championship. Really good match. I felt that Bailey, Sasha Banks, and Charlotte Flair and Nia Jax were very well together. And I was surprised to see how everybody got eliminated when they got eliminated. Nia Jax was out. Sasha Banks was out. And it was just down to Bailey and Charlotte Flair. And surprise, Bailey defeats Charlotte Flair and retains the women, the WWE Raw Women's Heavyweight Championship. Then it was a tag team match. And surprise, surprise, the Hardy Boys are inserted in. So then it becomes Matt and Jeff Hardy to Hardy Boys, bursting Enzo Moore and Colin Cassidy, bursting Antonio Cesaro and Seamus Osari, bursting Luke Gallows and Cal Anderson in a ladders match for the WWE Raw World Tag Team Championships. Really good match. All tag teams worked very well together. All the tag teams used the ladders. I really enjoyed this. I liked it. And I was surprised. The Hardy Boys, Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy, become the new WWE Raw Tag Team Champions, defeating Enzo Moore and Colin Cassidy, Tony Cesaro and Seamus Osari, and Luke Gallows and Kel Anderson. Then it was John Cena and Nikki Bella bursting... The Miz and Maurice Quartetti. Really good match. John Cena and The Miz work, all, work very well together. Nikki Bell and Maurice Quartetti work very well together. I like this match. Now, people are going to complain about this match because John Cena and Nikki Bell are on it. You know, they're going to complain about how... Oh, they're going to find kinds of things to complain about, whatever. But John Cena and Nikki Bell defeat The Miz and Maurice Quartetti. Then John Cena opposes to Nikki Bella, and I thought that was cool. I liked that when expecting that to occur, but that was good how they inserted that in. 
After that, it was Seth Rollins versus Triple H in an unsanctioned match. And I liked how they both used the chairs on each other. I liked how they both stopped them, tried to use a sledgehammer on each other. It was a back and forth match, you know. I enjoyed it. I felt that Seth Rollins and Triple H worked very well together in this match. Seth Rollins defeats Triple H. After that, then we had Randy Orton versing Bray Wyatt for the WWE Heavyweight Championship. And I really liked this match. And I thought it was interesting how Bray Wyatt would keep on showing, you know, uh, uh, first maggots, then worms, and then locusts in the ring to try to freak out Randy Orton at different times during the match. And I was surprised that Randy Orton was able to overcome all this. Good match. Randy Orton, I enjoyed it. Randy Orton, Bray Wyatt put on a really good match, in my opinion. Randy Orton defeats Bray Wyatt and becomes the new WWE Heavyweight Champion. Then it was Bill Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar for WWE Universal Heavyweight Championship. Really good match. Bill Goldberg and Brock Lesnar did a good job. Their third match was enjoyable. I liked it. I was surprised that Brock Lesnar was able to fig- was able to get an advantage on Bill Goldberg with suplexes and F fives and kicking out of jackhammer and stuff. At the end, Brock Lesnar defeats Bill Goldberg and becomes new WWE Universal Heavyweight Champion. After that, we had uh, Na- we had Becky Lynch versus Naomi Uso versus Alexa Bliss versus Natalia Neidhart versus Mickey James versus Carmella for WWE SmackDown Women's Heavyweight Championship. Really good match. All the women worked very well together. I know people are going to claim that they aren't talented, that it was a bathroom break, they fell asleep, whatever excuse they come up with to complain about the match. But I felt it was really good, and I liked it, but they all, they all worked very well together. And I was surprised. Naomi Uso defeats Becky Lynch, Lexa Bliss, Natalia Neidhart, Mickey James, and Carmella. And Naomi Uso becomes the new WWE, Women's Heavy, new WWE SmackDown Women's Heavyweight Champion. After that, we had The Undertaker versus Roman Reigns with surprise announcer Jim Ross. Um... I really felt this was a good match because The Undertaker tried everything to beat Roman Reigns and didn't work. Last ride, powerbomb, tombstone, pile driver, beating him up with chairs, throwing him through, choke flaming on the announce table. And I liked how Roman Reigns tried everything to beat The Undertaker too. Superman punches, spears, beating him with chairs, easing, spearing him through an announce table. And I was surprised that that this was a really good, you know, a really good match, and I enjoyed it. Roman Reigns defeats The Undertaker. You know, very surprised about that ending, but I figured that The Undertaker helped put Roman Reigns over, and I felt that was good. So anyway, I enjoyed WrestleMania, the kickoff matches, and the show matches itself. I liked it. thought WrestleMania was good. I'm Wicked Lady, a.k.a. Rini, and I'll see you tomorrow.